guys welcome back to my channel so it's time for another fake friday and i know it's been a while since i did my last one um but i've just had so much um other videos that i wanted to do that i i it i lost sight of it to be honest with you so i am going to continue doing my fake fridays but they're not going to be every week i'm hoping to do at least one a month if not two a month but we will see how we go i don't want to commit to doing one a week when i have a lot of other content that i want to get out so today the fake friday we are doing is the anastasia beverly hills norvina pro palette um as you'll have seen on previous video uh, videos on my channel I bought this recently and I tested it on my channel I've got it on today actually this is obviously the genuine one I'm not going to be putting fake products on my face that is just asking for a whole world of trouble so I thought I'd show you the fake versus the real one so you know what to look out for and as always I just want to give you a quick sort of um, rundown of why it's such an issue um, fake products um, they often have there's there's multiple reasons why fake products are bad the main is the health reasons so because they're fake they don't go through the same sort of rigorous checks that um genuine breakup does they don't have to follow um you know guidelines about what to put in them etc so they could literally be anything in the product just because it's got an um, ingredients list doesn't mean that's what's in it quite often they'll copy the ingredients of the real item but it can't have those ingredients in it because why is it so cheap also um they are often made in unsanitary conditions there's been things like traces of rat urine and rat feces seen in these products when they've been tested um there's all sorts of other issues with fake products as well such as sort of tax evasion and money laundering there's so you know it's such a big bad world of, of problems is the fakes market but the main concern for me is the fact that it is a health risk so you don't know what's in the products especially with things like lip products and eye products it's going near your eyes it's going near your mouth lip products and eye products inevitably get in your eyes and your mouth whether you want them to or not they will get in a small percentage will get in your mouth it's like sometimes i get lipstick on my teeth and then i'll do that and then i'll swallow it so if i had fake lipstick on right now i could be swallowing anything likewise you know your eyes you could go blind if you get something that is horrible in there and aside from dangers there are also things to consider such as allergies if you're allergic to any products you don't know whether um you know what chemicals are in there so anyway enough of the um health scare uh, just to make you aware that obviously i've got a real one and a fake one the fake one will be getting destroyed um i will not um put it anywhere near my face i will not put it anywhere near my eyes or my mouth and i will not risk anybody else doing so so it will be fully destroyed um these are available on local uh, local these are freely available on the internet these fake products the reason you can tell the fake before you receive them is the price if it's too good to be true it usually is so my uh, my real one cost me around i think it was 69 pounds or 70 something pounds it was very very expensive totally worth it though as you can see from my eyes the pigmentation and the blendability is incredible this cost me i think it was like eight pound or seven pounds something like that including postage insane insane to think that well it's totally not real anyway let's go in and examine it in depth so you know what you're looking for so the first thing i noticed about these product product palettes is difference in color and difference in size so the genuine one is on the left as you can see the other one has a slightly taller box and they're also different sizes the genuine one is a lot fatter and it has protective um, packaging whereas this is just thin and there's nothing protective at all about the packaging it just comes like this in plastic whereas the genuine one which I got from Anastasia Beverly Hills came in like a cardboard sleeve that's the wrong end I can't get it out that way 
but it has you know a proper cardboard sleeve to protect it and it's inside and I think it did have wrapping but I took it off because I've used this quite a lot I'll show you how much I've used it I've used it a lot <laughs> so that's the packaging in addition the back looks completely different so this is the genuine one so it's very sort of basic very um, sort of high-end looking it's just the purple with the black writing and then a white barcode all looking very sort of high-end and then this just looks cheap so you've got the writing in white it's big writing you've got a picture of the palette on the outside which doesn't happen in the genuine one and it even says on it made in PRC I don't even know what that means PRC I'm trying to see where the other one says it's made in this one says on it it's cruelty free I severely doubt this I severely doubt that this one says it's vegan and cruelty free obviously you'll believe that because that is the genuine one it tells you to discard it after 18 months um this one says discard after 12 months so that's got a diff you know a different advice on it and this is the palette and it arrived to me in this state so it's got the cellophane on I've not really touched it so I'll take that off and the first thing I notice is the back is plain there's nothing on the back at all whereas on the genuine one there is the information about you know how long to store it etc in case you throw away the box which you would expect on a genuine one to tell you when to discard it because you don't always keep the box this is the genuine one and it feels quite weighty and quite good quality the fake one feels really flimsy and fake and in fact when it came it was broken um so if you look at the hinge on the genuine one it looks like this it's got quite a thick hinge and then on the fake one it's quite a thin hinge and this hinge is smashed in the post it was covered in a lot a lot of uh, bubble wrap and it's still smashed which is crazy to me and it is like really cheap plastic this one I initially thought was metal but I do think it is plastic but it's like a really thick plastic like really thick good quality plastic if you can see um, the mirror is held in by a strip around the outside and this one oh gosh right this just this just came off but this is just like a really thin flimsy horrible yeah the mirror is quite good actually but it's now snapped off that's how crap uh, I nearly swore that <laughs> that's how rubbish it is and this palette just feels oh yeah it, it just floats away I was doing my makeup with the genuine one earlier and my arm was aching because I was using the mirror in it and because it's so good quality and so heavy after a while my arm was aching this just feels like you're holding a piece of paper it's so flimsy and thin um the writing on it's different as well so if you look this is the genuine one if you look at the letters they look quite nice they look quite small but you can still read them and from a distance you can't really see them so it looks kind of a bit more you know better quality on this one they're just like giant letters and yeah it it's all just like really badly printed as well I don't know whether you'll be able to see so this is like black but it's just got like a printed purple band around it um which is off it's also it's just rubbish it's all scratched up the it just it it probably isn't showing well on camera it just looks so so cheap um obviously it's broken because it's that cheap and rubbish um just getting the the better one out the shapes of the pans are different too so we've got fake on the left which is square pans and the one on the right is the the kind of like more oblong pans the colors are completely different as well 
Um, so look, A5, which is the top right. So in the fake palette, A5 is this like red colour. Uh, in the real one, it's like a bright um, fuchsia colour. The colours are just totally off. This one should be red, not orange. Uh, this one should not be shimmery, but it is. It's just all kinds of wrong. It really is. So, I mean, I am going to use this in one more video before I throw it away because I've seen on, um, I've seen on, um, YouTube people destroying makeup. Now, I would never destroy makeup that wasn't either off you know, ready for the bin or, you know, a fake product because I would never put that on my face. It's going in the bin anyway. So I thought I might destroy this palette um, just for fun because obviously I don't want to put it in the bin and then maybe somebody pick it up at a later date. I don't know whether people do that. Um, you know, if I took it to a tip, would somebody fish it out and then think, oh, this is good. Do you know what I mean? So I am going to have to destroy it first because I'm acting like it's toxic waste. And I, I, but I really, I really have a strong opinion on fake products. I really, really um, hate them. And I would never put one knowingly anywhere near my face. Um, the best way to avoid fake products is to not buy them from... Um, you know, places that aren't reputable. So always buy them from reputable places, such as we've well, got in England, you've got Debenhams, you've got Feel Unique, you've got Look Fantastic, you've got a whole host, you've got um, Cool Beauty, Beauty Bay. There's lots of online retailers and there's also lots of shops that sell products. Obviously, um, this isn't one you can get in the shops at the minute but there are plenty of online retailers that do these and what i would say is always always go with one of those if you are going to pick up a product second hand always make sure that in advance you know exactly what it looks like um so obviously it's very clear that this is fake just by you know the cheapness of this compared to this and but if I'd never had the original one, would I know that this... I'd, I'd probably think, gosh, this is a bit rubbish quality. This doesn't feel like a £70 product. But would I actually know that this is fake? Um, I probably would. I probably would now because I have sort of educated myself a little bit recently. But if you were somebody that's never had ABH products before, who's never had a palette before even maybe, maybe you've only ever had Makeup Revolution, you wouldn't know that this is fake. So what I would say is, you know, do your homework first if you're going to buy it second hand and then just make sure that you get proof of purchase off the seller um, and make sure that if you are purchasing things and you're using you're using something where you can claim it back if there is an issue for instance paypal you can claim your money back but only if you use goods and services if you use the friends and family option it's like sending money to a friend you have no comeback should you, your items not arrive or not arrive as they should so make sure you do friend uh goods and services on PayPal or if you're using another payment method make sure you are covered for if there's fraud or fakes um I believe you can claim some money back on certain credit cards but again it's worth checking the terms and conditions first um but yeah um I was I was intending to swatch this but I actually don't feel like doing that um I'll, I'll hold them up side by side again the only reason I don't feel like swatching them is because, like, when I swatched the uh, lipsticks, it was only quickly and I could wipe it off. But this is going to take a very long time to swatch all these and I'm going to have them on my skin. And, yeah, I just, I'm not willing to do that. I'm not willing to have these on my skin. So, I will destroy this in an upcoming video and I honestly can't wait to destroy it. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna destroy it, and I'm very very excited. I might get a bit of hate from it for it because I have seen people getting a bit of hate for destroying makeup, even makeup that's expired, which I think, to be honest, is a bit crazy. Look, you were gonna throw it in the bin anyway. What does it matter if you've destroyed it or not first? Um, but I actually think there's a good reason to destroy this, just so that it's gone. 
and no one can use it. So yeah, we're going to have some fun later in the week. Um, it, it might be this week, it might be next week. I just, I'm not very well at the minute, as you can probably tell by my voice. I'm not sure how many films I'll get to do this week, just because I have to work full time, as well as being ill, as well as doing YouTube. So I will try, but it may or may not happen. But thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in a video again soon. Bye!